so I just got to my location. Um, in this video, I'm going to be pretty much sleeping in my truck in a parking lot. There's nowhere to camp around here. There's a beautiful stream with hopefully salmon running through it. Um, it's getting dark, so I want to get out there and do some uh, investigating on what the stream's like because tomorrow morning I'm going to be down there fishing. Tonight I have no idea where I'm going to be camping. I literally will be in a parking lot. I'm in a very urban area. This creek runs through a major city in Ontario. So stay tuned. Um, this is not going to be a camping video. This is going to be literally me parking in a parking lot somewhere, um, camping for the night. With my camper extension, it's going to be interesting because I've never designed it for urban uh, stealth camping, right? It sticks out, looks like a coffin. Everybody uh, kind of laughs at it for that, right? So I don't know. I don't know what to expect, but I'm going to uh, get all my gear together. I'm going to get down to the stream, check that out, hopefully catch a salmon tonight, and uh, get back at it tomorrow morning. And then I'm going to be back in the truck, hopefully before dark. And uh, I got some chili. I'm just going to heat up in my jet boil. Um, it's been raining, so I don't know if I'm going to just do it in the back of my truck or what. I don't have my awning. I don't have any of my camping gear. So um, this is kind of a new uh, situation for me. Stay tuned. I hope you liked the video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe for more videos. I'm doing these all the time. Take care. Well, if there's one thing I learned over the years, it's just because you set the camera up doesn't mean the fish will cooperate. I was surprised I actually caught a fish tonight. I wasn't able to get it on video. There was a gentleman close by who was able to take a nice photograph for me. I was lucky to catch another one in the morning that I happened to get on video. That's the creek I was just in. That's one of the busiest highways in Ontario. And this is a carpool parking lot. This is home for the night. I've looked around and this is probably the safest place to park. I don't think anybody's going to bother me here. And I can get up in the morning and head back to the creek. Because I plan on doing that. First thing in the morning I'm going to be down there doing some uh, more fishing. So I'm get out of my waders and actually probably park my truck in a better spot here. It's a little more uh, out of the way. People are coming and going. I don't know how busy this parking lot is, but we'll see.
Well, this is the first time I've done any urban camping in the back of my pickup truck extension. And uh, so far, so good. I mean, obviously, it's important to find a spot where you're kind of um, kind of hidden as best you can. I'm in a carpool parking lot, but I'm tucked back in a corner where there's some shrubbery and the, the area is fenced off with a, a six-foot chain link fence. So I've kind of backed my truck in there on a kind of a 45-degree angle. There's not a lot of traffic here overnight, I guess. And uh, so if you pulled into the parking lot, you wouldn't see my camper extension sticking out of the back of my uh, pickup truck. I have my um, privacy on the uh, side of the glass. So even though I have the lights on, you don't really see it from outside. And um, I, I really don't think it's going to attract too much attention. I have my mattress kind of in its sofa situation. It's a, th it's a trifold uh, memory foam mattress. And what I do is I, uh, if I want to sit back and actually kind of eat and do stuff in the back of the truck, I can um, fold it so that one side is a backrest and then I'm sitting on two sections of the mattress, almost like a sofa. And uh, I have my setup here. I got room in front of me. Um, I've had my chili and uh, I had a cold beer watching um, my Seinfeld on my uh, laptop and just kind of getting organized for tomorrow. So the day uh, sneaks by pretty quick. I don't know if you can hear the traffic uh, flying by, but I'm really probably uh, 20 yards from a major highway um, but uh, unfortunately to get fishing on this trip and, and do what I want to accomplish here um, it literally there's no campgrounds around this is the only option I had and it's just a quick one night trip I'm gonna wake up in the morning at dawn be down at the river and hopefully catch some more salmon and then I'm on my way for another trip uh, I'm heading up north so this is just a quick little uh, stop on the way I just want to show you my camper setup and, and what I have and I'm not sure how the lighting is going to be but I'll kind of show you basically what it is. <clears throat> so I have my Jackery here and I have my laptop so I uh, wanted to do some video editing and hopefully I can get some done while I'm um, on this trip. And that's my camera Pelican case. So that's my Pelican case with my camera gear and that sort of stuff in it. Um, I have these lights kind of off the uh, extension there. They work really well. Been organizing my door. Just um, have some storage there, some knives, some gloves, first aid kit, um, paper towel holder, that sort of thing. Here's my uh, dinner. I had some chili. I heated up on my jet boil. I had some uh, pickled asparagus, which is kind of a nice little treat, uh, easy to carry. And I had some croissants with my chili and a cool beer. So I'm going to finish my beer, watch maybe a little more TV on my laptop and probably get to bed just to get everything organized and uh, call it a night. First thing in the morning I'm going to be up on the river and I will tune in with you then. Cheers. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but I'm just packing up my uh, camper extension and uh, breakfast is going to be at Tim Hortons. I'm just going to want to go over there, grab a uh, coffee and a breakfast sandwich and pretty much drive over to uh, where I was fishing yesterday morning and get back at it. It's still dark, uh, probably got an hour before uh, sunrise. And this is my setup, this is where I camped last night. But uh, it worked out, nobody bothered me, didn't get interrupted, so it was all good. back at the parking lot where the access is to the river. I'm going to eat my breakfast, put my stuff on, get down there and show you some of the amazing salmon fishing.
got one. You see that or not? Come on, buddy. Come on. Right in the nose. Awesome. Look at that. Oh man. There we go, that's what I came here today for. 